Let's see how to install Flask on Visual Studio Code. Let's start by opening the folder that will contain a new Flask application. Let's now open our integrated terminal, so terminal and new terminal. And let's make sure that Python is installed. To do that, we can check Python's version. And I got back some specific Python version. If you didn't get a Python version, I leave a link in the video description to help you with the installation of Python on Windows. Another thing we're going to need is pip. So let's check its version as well. And again, I got some specific version. And if you didn't, following the link I mentioned before should help with that as well. We're now going to create a virtual environment for our new project. But due to the limitations of PowerShell on running scripts, this is something I prefer to do in the command prompt rather than PowerShell. So let's switch to command prompt. And this can be done by clicking here on the small arrow and choosing command prompt. And we now have one terminal window for PowerShell and another one for the command prompt. Let's close the one for PowerShell. So I click on the small trash bin here. And let's create a new Python virtual environment. You can use any name you want. I'll just call mine Flask Env. And it's going to take about a minute or so. And it's done and we can see that we now have a folder called Flask Env. And in this folder, we have another folder called scripts. Among the files in the scripts folder, we can see activate.bat. This is the file we want to run. So let's change the directory to the scripts directory. And let's run activate.bat. And we can now see the name of the virtual environment in parentheses in the beginning of the row. This is our indication that the virtual environment is activated and every Python installation we're going to make from now on is only going to be made in the context of this virtual environment. That being said, let's use pip to install flask. So pip install flask. Let's now run a simple flask application to make sure that everything works as expected. To do that, let's open the web browser and let's open the Flask website. And here under quick start, we can find a minimal application. So let's copy the code from here and save it to a file called hello.py. Make sure that you don't place the file in the virtual environment folder, but in the root directory of your project. Visual Studio Code recommends to install the Python extension, so let's do that. And let's get back to our file, save it. To run our Flask application, let's move two level ups in the terminal and get back to the root folder of the project. And now to start our server, we're going to run python-m flask dash dash app and then the name of our application, in our case, hello, run. And as you can see, we got a link. So let's press on the control key and follow the link. And we got the response back from our Flask development server.